One thing that would be nice on the Mac, and I'm sorry guys, this is more Mac specific in this video. So if you're a Windows user, feel free to move on to the next one. I would like to right click on project and choose something like open in Sublime Text 2. That would be helpful, right? That's not offered out of the box, but we can provide that functionality fairly easy. So I will open Automator, which all Mac users have, and we're going to add a new service. Now the action that I want to run is a shell script, so I'll bring that in. So now, when we execute this service, it's going to run a shell script, and I'll paste this in. This is a path to the Sublime Text executable, and then I'm passing dash in to create a new project with the given files. So now our service should receive file or folders, whatever we specify, and that's really all there is to it. So I will hit save, and we're going to save it as open in Sublime. And now if I close this out, if I right click on the folder, go down to services, we have a new option, open in Sublime. And there we go. So now that we have the ability to right click on a folder and open it in Sublime, let's also offer the same functionality from the terminal. Ideally, I should be able to, within a folder, just run Sublime, and that will open up Sublime with the current directory's files in the sidebar. But if I run it right now, nope, that's not going to work. So let's add that functionality. It's a fairly easy process. All we have to do is create a symbolic link. So what I have here is we're creating a new link. I'm passing dash s to create a symbolic link. The first parameter is the full path to that Sublime executable. And now I'm creating the reference, or you can think of it as like an alias or a pointer to the original file. And I'm placing that within my bin. Now, if you get this error right here, like I did, permission denied, you may need to do sudo. So I'll do sudo, and a quick tip here, if I do exclamation point, exclamation point, that's going to bring in the last command that I ran. So if I run that, now notice that it just pastes that in. And if I run it, now we've created the symbolic link. So at this point, you may need to restart the terminal, but once you do, now I will run sublime, period, and now everything has been opened, and we're all set to go.